Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Uh, in this equation, we have simplifying this equation and find the variable of x. For this, we can first simplifying this root equation, uh, root term, and then we can simplify this term. So we have uh, we are going to the solution. So first of all, uh, in this equation, we have five power x minus eleven power x divide by in this equation we uh, first of all we can uh, let uh, simplify this term and we can uh, uh, this term to uh, equal into this term uh, for our easiest so we can write 55 uh, to their uh, uh, factors we can write by multiply 11 which is 55 we can write x minus 121 we can write 11 multiply 11 which power x and root which is equal to 1 so in this uh, root term we, uh, we are using the power rule a multiply b m which is equal to a m multiply b m we can use this uh, rule to this uh, root uh, so uh, in this equation we have 5x minus 11x divided by 5x multiply 11x and in this term we can write uh, this term into their power form which is 11 square x which is equal to 1 in our root so in this question uh, in this term we are using this uh, power rule a m n which is equal to a m n we are using this uh, power rule into this term so 5x minus 11x divide by 5x multiply 11x minus 11 and also which is equal to a and m we are using this term so 11x power 2 root which is equal to 1 so our equation we uh, this is same to our uh, numerator is same uh, to denominator so we are letting let a which is equal to 5x and b which is equal to 11x so we are using this to this term this equation one so in this equation uh, we have a minus b 5x which is equal to a and 11x which is equal to b divided by a b 5x a and 11x b so a b minus a b square 11 x square b square root which is equal to 1 for our easiest uh, to simplifying we are letting in this term into a and b so uh, we can squaring on both side squaring on both side so in this equation a minus b whole square divided by a b minus b square whole square which is equal to 1 square this square root will be cancelled to this square we are squaring to cancel this square root so uh, in this equation a minus b whole square divided by a b minus b square and this root will be cancelled to this square which is equal to 1 so we are finding our main aim is to find the value of a and b uh, then we can easily find the value of x for that we, uh, we uh, 
first of all we cancel this term so uh, to canceling this term we are multiplying multiplying a b minus b square on both side so this equation a minus multiplying a b minus b square and multiplying a b minus b square so this term will be cancelled to this term so in this equation we have left a b whole square which is equal to a b minus b square uh, so in left hand side we are cancelling this term so we can subtract uh, this term into both side so uh, we are um, so we can uh, simplifying this term into a minus b whole square minus a b minus b square which is equal to uh, we simplifying this term to we can simplify my uh, minus a b on both side a b minus a b minus b square on both side this side also so minus minus a b minus b square so we can write in this term to cancel to this term so we have left this term which is equal to zero uh, you can write in another uh, step uh, i can write this step uh, into uh, in this also in, uh, in this step so in this uh, equation uh, we uh, are simplifying this term so in this term uh, we have b common so a minus b whole square minus we take common non b so in this we have left a and in this side we have left b which is equal to zero and in this uh, both equation we have uh, we can uh, common a minus b a minus b take common so in this term we have left a minus b uh, and minus in this term we have left minus b which is equal to zero so in this equation a minus b and a minus b minus b which is equal to zero so we can right so in this we have in this equation in this equation we so we have uh, we are right a minus b in this side we have a minus b a minus into this, into this a minus b and in this side we have minus b minus b minus 2b a minus 2b which is equal to 0 so in this side we have a minus b which is equal to 0 and uh, we have two terms uh, two equation a, a so a minus 2b which is equal to 0 in this side we have a which is equal to b and in this side we have a is equal to 2b so we are finding the value of a and b putting the value of a and b we are letting the value of a and b uh, we have let a which is equal to 5x and b is equal to 11x so a which is equal to 5x which is equal to b 11x so we cancel first uh, term 5x r 11x we are multiplying or dividing both sides by 5x r 11x so in this term we have multiplying dividing both sides by 11x uh, 11x divided by 11x so we have cancel this both term in this term we have we are writing uh, uh, a 5 5x divided by 11x we are using this uh, rule a x divided by b x which is equal to a divided by b x we are using this uh, power rule to uh, this term so we are using 5 divided by a 
11 x which is equal to 1 so we know that any power of uh, power of any number 0 power of, uh, any number which is equal to 1 pi power of 0 which is equal to 1 or 100 power of 0 which is equal to 1 or 11 divided by 5 power 0 which is equal to 1 in, so in this number we are writing uh, 5 divided by 11 x which is equal to 5 divided by 11 power 0 why we are using this term so a uh, week uh, we are uh, using this a uh, power rule a x if a x is equal to uh, b x then b y then x is equal to y we are using this power rule to this term for that we are using this and uh, we are writing 5 divided by 11 pound 0 which is equal to 1 so in this equation we have uh, one value of x which is equal to zero so uh, in this so in this term we are uh, using also using this um, uh, equation also using uh, uh, the uh, values of a and b a value of a 5x which is equal to 2 multiply power b value is 11 power x so um, in this term we are uh, we uh, if we take um, if we cancel the 11 uh, power x so we can divide uh, both side by 11 x so 5 x divided by 11 x which is equal to 2 multiply 11 x divided by 11 x this uh, 11 x will be cancelled to 11 x so we have uh, this term so in this term we are writing 5 divided by 11 x which is equal to 2 our main aim is to find the value of x so we can take log taking log on both side so log of 5 divided by 11 x which is equal to log of 2 so uh, so uh, we are using the log formula as we know that log a x which is equal to x log a in this term we are using x log 5 divided by 11 which is equal to log 2 so uh, this term uh, will be cancelled so we are dividing both sides by log 5 divided by 11 so x log 5 divided by 11 divided by log 5 divided by 11 on both sides so log 2 divided by log 5 divided by 11 so this term will be cancelled to this term so uh, in this side we have left x which is equal to log 2 divided by log 5 divided by 11 as we know that the power uh, rule of log uh, log a divided by b which is equal to log a minus log b we are using this term into x is equal to log 2 divided by log 5 minus log 11 so we are using the log logarithmic table to find the value of x so log 2 uh, will be equal to uh, log 2 will be uh, equal to if we uh, are want to find the value of uh, log x we uh, we are using the value of log log 2 in this log 2 the characteristics of uh, uh, 2 is uh, there uh, will be point in this one uh, non-zero digit so there will be characteristics will be zero and the main tissa we are using the logarithmic table so this main tissa will be 0, 301 divided by in this side also characteristics will be zero a uh, point in the main tissa will be 698 and in this side the uh, uh, there are will be two digit so uh, the main tissa will be one uh, the characteristics characteristics will be one and the main tissa will be uh, 0 043 and the value of x become 0 0.301 divided by uh, in this side we have left minus 0 0.715 and the value of x will become minus 0 0.420 our may uh, our final answer